and welcome to another episode of the Top 3 Band Series. My name is Joost Appelhoven and every Monday we post a new video about the personal top 3 bands of Bandfluencers. If you don't want to miss out on a video, subscribe to our YouTube channel now. In this video we will have a look at the personal top 3 bands of James Glasscock. James hosts a review channel on YouTube called GG Reviews and stories about his bands are impressive. James is a great storyteller and you will notice that in this video as well. Grab some popcorn and sit back, let's have a look at the top 3 pants of James Glasscock. Hi, I'm James Glasscock from JG3 Reviews and I want to thank Applebaum for this opportunity to share with you today three of my favorite pens. Uh, the first is this Esterbrook J and this is a fairly recent pen to me but it represents something from my youth that uh, I'm fairly sentimental about and these are all sentimental picks today. Uh, the Esterbrook reminds me of the pen that my grandfather had, the fountain pen he had. He was an educator, a principal, and a uh, superintendent of a school district here in Texas. And my grandmother was also a teacher. And I spent a lot of my time at their house. And in their back bedroom uh, was almost an accidental museum of things from another era. And I just always thought that was so cool. You'd go back there and I could, they would let me look through all of these boxes and things. And some were my dad's old toys. And some were, for example, just on a shelf off camera, my great grandfather's tube radio, which still works to this day. And there were some fountain pens. Actually, there were two fountain pens and then one other thing that looked like a fountain pen but was actually a tear gas dispenser <laughs> disguised as a fountain pen. There's got to be a story there, but I don't know it. Uh, but this, this uh, Esterbrook uh, is very, very similar. Same color, I think, I think the same model and everything to one of the pens that was in that box. And I always wanted to write with that pen, but I couldn't because there was no ink and my grandmother uh, wasn't even sure that in our uh, town that you could actually even still buy a bottle of ink. Obviously, there were no uh, online pen stores at the time. So, I uh, just never got a chance. And so that kind of became, uh, while the Esterbrook is probably not most people's grail pen, for me it, it kind of became that because I just, I wanted that tie to my grandparents and their past. And so I bought that pen. Uh, that for me is, is one of the most special in my collection, even though I don't write with it as much as the others. I do really like this pen. The second pen is this uh, Schaefer, a Schaefer white dot that my wife got me back in the mid 90s in Russia. We used to live there working with a church. I'm a minister. And uh, she bought me for our second anniversary this uh, Schaefer white dot and it's a, a Fashion 2 is the name of the model. And I really like the pen, love the design of the pen. It writes really well. But my favorite thing is that it, it brings back memories of our early years in our marriage. And uh, I just, I love that pen and I love those times. Life in Russia at that time was, was kind of rough and, and rougher probably for the Russians than for us. It was like their Great Depression. And so this reminds me of our, our time there, but mostly of my wife and our, our, our first few years of marriage as we were, you know, who, who gets married and within the first year moves off to a foreign country going through difficult times? We did. And uh, so that, I don't know if we were really tough or if we were really crazy, but Whatever, we were brought through it and it was, it was a wonderful time and we came to love the Russian people. Some of the most hospitable people we've ever met in our lives were from there. And uh, when I was getting this box out here a few minutes ago, I found a couple of things that kind of cracked me up. I still have the, uh, the warranty card. I won't turn that around because that address might still mean something. But I still have the, the warranty card there that I filled out but never mailed from Russia back to the U.S. for the warranty. This is back when all the Schaefer's were still made in the U.S. And I still have the, uh, the Russian receipt from a store called the Stomatrovka in downtown Perm, Russia. And that's pretty cool to still have that around. I didn't realize I even had that until today. And I had lost the converter, but I found that this week as well. The third pen 
is probably for me the most sentimental of all. Uh, and that is because of who this came from. And it's kind of funny because I can't exactly tell you who that came from, uh, but it came from some foster kids uh, that we had. We were foster parents for uh, nine children back in the early 2000s, not all at the same time. I came from a family. I have four brothers and four sisters, so that might have felt fairly normal if they'd all been at the same time. But they were kind of spread out over a few years. Nine kids came through our house and we were able to uh, show them love and kindness and help them along on their journey. And uh, most of those kids really just thrived and, and did well. And most of them got to go back to their own families. Well, one uh, Christmas, a couple of those kids wanted to get me something special and they knew that I liked pens. And so they gave me this cross century. This is different from the rest of the list in that this is not a fountain pen. Uh, I pretty much uh, don't buy many pens that aren't fountain pens anymore, but this is a rollerball, and when I'm not using a fountain pen, a rollerball is what I like, or a gel pen. And uh, this pen for me is far more important than the sum of its parts. I uh, love those kids that came and lived with us, was honored to be a part of helping them on their way and helping them deal with some things that were very difficult, and that they thought enough uh, of our helping them that they found a way to, to get this pen and give that to me for Christmas, for me, is really, really special. Uh, as I mentioned, I have four brothers and four sisters, and uh, seven of those are adopted themselves. And so it was uh, a ministry for us. It was a special thing, a way of giving back uh, that we were foster parents. And I, I commend those who were involved in helping kids and helping them get along in their own journey. And so that pen means an awful lot to me. So as you can see, my three pens all have sentimental, emotional attachment. Uh, they all represent people and times in my life. And I think those are the things that actually come to mean the most. Those that are attached to moments of uh, great relationships and times. And so uh, again, I want to thank you for letting me be a part of this. God bless you and have a great day.